Hi. <laughs> so you want to watch me playing games? This is my computer screen. You really wanted to know that, didn't you? Okay, these are my shoes, okay? They facilitate me playing games because I can move around and they allow me to play games. I think everybody should own a pair. This is a microwave and it is like a game. You press buttons and it makes you food. Yeah! High school! Okay, we're back in my bedroom and the computer's just restarted. So here are some of my games which I play. Okay, first game. I'm gonna play a game called Step Mania, okay? It's basically like DDR Dance Dance Revolution, okay? I'm not really into it loads, but it's alright. So I deliberately failed on that one because I said it too fast so you could see how to fail properly because I think it's a very important lesson when we don't teach in schools or universities. Here's a little game I like to play with my mobile phone and it's fun and it's going to deafen you, okay? It's going to be fun. Here we go. Okay, the mobile phone is inside the subwoofer, okay? See? It goes inside there. Okay? We well, got a song with Bane. It's on. It will fail. I don't care. Here we go. Work. It's meant to fly out the machine. It does normally, but it like suck the phone in instead of launching it out. Woo! This is a game called Spore, okay? It's where you make a silly little creature. It's people say it's rubbish, but um, it's kind of relaxing and I've played it to death. Those. They're evil monsters and they kill everything, okay? They're fun. They're like genocidal maniacs. Oh yeah, my main sort of creatures, right? They're green and they're cool. I like them. I like them. They're good. Those completely... I was like the shape or something because I keep making creatures like it. Okay, a quick note on Spore. Mother Nature is wrong. Mother Nature sucks, okay? Trees are green, grass is green, everything is green. So why don't animals turn green, you know? It'd be the best camouflage ever because you couldn't see them. We should be green. Little green men, that's what we should be. Here we go, camera falling down the stairs, take one. I'm only kidding, I wouldn't throw it down the stairs, that'd be nuts. Hello, uh, some computer games people put their misshapen names on a piece of paper and this is worth lots of money, probably not, no, but um, yeah, okay, misshapen names. Okay, very, very, very exciting thing now, okay, we're going to play the most popular game of all time and here it is. And 
We're gonna play the best prank ever, okay? It's gonna be really, really good, okay? Come on, let's go, come on, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, come on. A bottle, no Aces bottle. Okay, it's my door. We got away with it. We did it. I'm bouncing on my bed, dude. <laughs> Hello, my name's Mr. Tipback. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play a game now. It's epic, man. Patience, she loads. So the funny little men go into the mine. What a wonderful game. Oh, wonderful. Ah, we're building an altar of storms. That means we can summon a hero. That'd be fantastic. Bet you can't win. Some people have criticized strategy games like this because you have to spend <laughs> building a base and some people find that boring doing it again and again and again. People like the tactics, and Dawn of War 2 is listening to that, and they're gonna build a game where you don't have to build bases, so quite an interesting dynamic there. Yeah. We are building a Blade Master. So why are computer games fun? Well, I don't think there's one reason, really. I think there's many reasons. I mean, for a start, it part time, obviously. What do with our time? I mean, what? Go out and have a good time? Nah! <laughs> Ha, ah, we can't do that. So we sit indoors, we play a silly little game, and it passes our time, and we learn nothing, and yeah, there are pros to making computer games, but there are also cons, something to consider there. Our Blade Master is now slaughtering these little creatures, and that's a good thing. If he stuck a spike on that stick, it might actually do some more damage than his little marshmallows, but uh, we won't tell him that because we want to kill him, so okay, there we go. My life. <laughs> what kind of a message are we saying to our kids? That we should give our lives? Why can't he just go and hug a night elf? That's what I want to know. Hug a night elf. 